Hello there, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armel, and I own the Stock Swoosh, and I thought I would review the beginning of the year in January through now, it's mid-May, the Stock Swoosh 2018 trading room tracking. So if you decide you want to learn my method in the Golden Gap class, you're eligible to sign up for the live trading room. It's Monday through Friday. We usually open the room about 8.30 in the morning, and to keep it open to whatever we're done, sometimes it's 10.15, 10.30, sometimes it's a little later around 11 o'clock, but it's just focusing on morning trading and morning gaps. The only thing that I look at is gaps, and most of these trades are shorts. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP, and you can follow me at any of these social media places as well. It's really about empowering yourself to trade because this is an individual activity. When you decide that you want to day trade, you are responsible for the trades you're taking. You have to press the button. In the live room, I'm calling the trades. The ticker symbol is up. I'm calling the entries and the stops and the targets and where to get out. However, you still have to press the button. You've got to size yourself correctly. And you will learn in the Golden Gap course exactly how to find all of the picks that I have that we're going to go over right here going back since the beginning of the year. So January started out. LB was a winner. BKS was a winner. Play was a winner, DKS was a loser, Urban was a loser, AYI was a winner, then SVU was a winner, and some days there will not be any gaps to meet my criteria, there'll be no trades, which was the 11th, 12th, GME was a winner, then room was closed on the 15th, then it was a good week, SPY was a winner, IBM was a winner, no trades on the 18th, and Nike was a winner. Usually I like to focus on one thing a day, sometimes more than one, but usually one thing. SANM was a winner on the 22nd, no trades the 23rd, then the rest of the week. Again, strong start to the year. UAL was a winner, NWL winner, INTC winner. Another great week, Sohu was a winner, Met winner, Juniper, eBay, Apple, all winners. And this is going into the beginning of February. So the year started out very strong. And remember, uh, most of these are shorts, and the, and the calendar year this year started out very bullish for the market. The gaps that I look at, the rating system that I invented and created, the Golden Gap rating system, really, I'm looking for picks that are on their own. Stocks are going to make moves, whether up or down, uh, that have nothing to do with the market, which I think has been more important than ever this year because of the volatility. February 5th, no trades. February 6th, SWKS winner. CMG was a winner. The 7th, that was a really good gap. 28 Tiva was a loser. HPI was a winner. 29 EXP was a loser. And then second trade, a winner. Occasionally, there will be a retake. Uh, you'll learn that in the class as well. 212 no trades, 213 room closed, 214 spy loser, car loser, fossil winner. NTAP was a winner on the 15th, and True was a winner on the 16th. 219 room was closed. 220 WMT loser, and then winner again, that was a retake. 221 SLCA winner, AAOI winner, HPE winner, another strong week. 226 DF was a winner, spy was a winner, Disney was a winner. 228, close out February, low was a loser, TSRO was a loser, and CLG was a winner. MNST was a winner on March 1st, and Foot Locker was a winner on the 2nd. No trades on the 5th. Uh, March 6th, Target was a winner, DLTR was a winner, SPY was a winner, BIG was a winner, QQQs were a winner, a lot of winners. 312, no trades, SPY was a loser on the 13th, QCOM was a loser, GE was a winner, SIG was a winner, BABA was a winner, TIFF was a winner on the 16th. Facebook, really nice winner on the 19th. Oracle was a loser, and Facebook was a winner again on the 20th. That was really had a big move that week. 321 Love was a winner. 322 was a TV day off. 323 QQQ was a loser, and WDC was a winner. April started out ALTH loser, UA winner. No trades on the 3rd of the 4th. TV day off the 5th. The 6th spy was a loser, and then a winner, two trades in the spy. The 9th, no trades. The 10th, no trades. And the 11th, SPY was a loser, Q's were a winner, FAST was a winner. BBBY was a great winner on the 12th. 13Z was a loser, WFC was a loser and a winner, two trades in that. Then WFC was a loser on the 16th, Netflix huge winner on the 17th, IBM another big winner on the 18th, PG winner on the 19th, April 20th, TV day off. 23rd AKRX was a loser, two losers in that one. Uh, AA was a winner, MMM was a loser, and then a big winner, and then A was a winner on the 24th. Win was a winner on the 25th, T was a winner, and eBay was a winner on the 26th, 27th, no trades. Uh, ARNC was a winner on the 30th, 
May 1st, CMI was a loser. STX was a loser. LL was a winner. SNAP was a winner. May 3rd, CIH was a loser. AIG was a winner. And F uh, FLUR, F-L-R, was a winner on May 4th. Then on 7th, TSEM was a loser. CTSH was a winner. HTZ, nice winner on the 8th. The 9th, WMT, two trades. One was a loser, one was a winner. 10th, EXEL was a winner. And the 11th, no trades. So all in all, 99 trade calls, only 27 losers, and 72 winners, which is really super great. So a win ratio of 73% here into really just the, the middle of May. And we'll see what the rest of the year brings. If you're interested in my Golden Gap course to learn my method, how I find these picks daily, how I enter them, where to put the stop, the targets, how to read what is a what is a correct way to play a gap, and more importantly, where institutional money is buying and selling a stock, you will learn it in my Golden Gap course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. It is a professional bearish gap system. Dates of the class are May 19th and 20th from 9 to 5. Only one class in May. Ready to have people signed up? If you're interested, I would not wait. You can email me if you want to sign up. You have to email me to sign up because the registration forms you have to get from me. Cost of the class is $5,499 and well worth it. Once you take the course, then you are eligible to sign up to become a member of the live trading room. You would get all of those picks that I just gave and went through and also the entries and the targets and the stops, which I would call live in the room daily. So, so far it has been a very strong 2018. Looking to continue that for the rest of the year and beyond. Have a great, great day, everyone. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.